So here's the microphone set up now. As you can see, there's the mic. It's actually the back of the mic. And there's the icicle, which provides the preamp power to the microphone. And that plugs in with that way, with the XLR three prongs. They go in that bit. This here is a control knob to give you more volume. So you probably, to begin with, it's a bit of experimentation, but to begin with, I turn it completely that way. Just gently turn it till it stops on full power. Now, when the icicle is plugged into your computer via the USB, it will glow blue. Can you see that? Just a bit of a, an extra glow there. And then the little USB goes in there, little plug, and then you attach that all the way around to your computer. There, this is a PC. This is the PC version, not the Mac version. So this is the PC version. And then I'm going to show you how to get the computer to get Windows to recognize the mic, which is a USB mic. So we go to the start menu down here. Just click on that and then we go over to control panel there. And then we go to hardware and sound. Click again. Now I want to go on to sound. And now we want to go on to recording, not playback. So recording is the important one. And there you can see two microphones. One is the Realtek. Can you see that? That's the Realtek one, which is not the mic we need. That's your inbuilt computer. And here's the USB one. Can you just see that? USB audio device. And that's ticked. That's the one we want. But if, as I'm talking, can you see that the Realtek is picking up my voice as well as the microphone? If I go closer to the Behringer mic, hello, 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 you'll see there that's actually picking up that, but it's pick also picking up the microphone here, which I don't want. You just want the USB mic. So click on the, I need to disable this, so click on this microphone. This is the Realtek inbuilt mic, properties, and then it will say down here, look, device usage, use this device, enable, but in fact, I want to press disable there. So that's what I do. I'm not going to do it on this case, actually. I'm just going to go, so that should say disable. And then just double check on here. Again, that is abled. Properties, I think it looks like it's abled to me. Enable, which is great. So as long as you've turned off your internal mic, it's a big mistake that people make. They keep the internal mic on, which is, which will then pick up lots of room noise and extra noise that you don't need. And you're all ready to go. So now you need to do exactly the same on your software, which could be Audacity or whatever you're using. So there we go. That's the first part of the instalment.